Hey, it's the Fort Worth Playboy. And my Playboy's Bunny. Welcome to our podcast where we discuss <laughs> pickup, game, relationships, and... Sex, sex, sex. <laughs> Today's topic is why men want a girl who can cook. That's a pretty fucking good topic. Well, it seems to be a big deal. It is. It absolutely is. And you, know, I think... I think that especially younger guys tend to, uh, what, underestimate how important it is. Because when you're younger, you do more, like, you do more picking up fast food. You do more going out with the guys. You you just eat out more, I think. But as you get older, and as you have a family and stuff like that, you start to go... You know, an actual home cooked meal would be lovely right now. <laughs> exactly. It, it's it's interesting. I mean, like, I'm a unique case because I've been eating the same bland food since I was like 14. You yeah, know, if sure. you do bodybuilding or athletics, you, you know, it's so true. Let's just say, you know, that OCD. You know, I've, I liked doing that. I yeah. like certainty and knowing what I'm going to eat. But, um, it's it's funny because it was not on my radar, no. but like when I was married, it was a big deal for her. <laughs> she even like subscribed to this program that like it was a different dinner every night, which would for a lot of guys. And don't get me wrong, it's not like I didn't appreciate it, but it's not my thing. <laughs> but it's lost on you. It it's truly lost. Is it's lost it's a lot you. of effort lost on me because I tend to like to eat. The same thing. Right. All the time. All, literally, all the time. And then, (laughs) after I got divorced, you know, and I've seen guys, you know, in in our little world here, really push it. And, of course, I never, but I can see what a woman who says, I don't cook. Because this is kind of like, I've got been exposed to it enough now that it's almost like a slap in the face. Or like if a girl says, yeah, my husband knows I don't cook. Yeah. It's kind of disrespectful. It's really it weird is. how, you know, I hear it differently than, you know, it doesn't affect me. But I know that it affects other people. Well, it affects you in that, I mean, what if I didn't cook? Exactly. I mean, well. I mean, I know you know how to make your own food, but what if I didn't cook it? It's an extra yeah. thing. Well, I don't know if I'd notice. Does that make sense? I mean. You get spoiled with new things being added in. Right. But would you notice if it was if it had never come into your world? Right, right, right. So don't take take that wrong. Oh, no, no, no. I get it. Um, We've talked about this before. But when a girl says, and older, you know, I know, that's the question. You're like, when a girl says she doesn't cook or can't mm-hmm. cook, mm-hmm. I guess those are two different things. Yeah, I think they definitely are. And she has children, you're like, well, how'd that work out? What are they eating? How does that work? And you know, you know what they usually eat. They're eating Hot Pockets and cereal. And, yeah. You know, whatever they can, you know, stuff out of a box. Yeah. Um, but sometimes a girl will be, I don't cook, came from, she didn't want to learn how to cook. It's almost like angry sometimes. Yeah, yeah. That's that's what you're trying to avoid is that. Yeah. Angry, I don't have the skill because I'm not here to help or serve or whatever she may see it as. Right. Um. Why do you think that men, I don't know if it's universal, um, as a female, like how do you guys consider, do girls go, yeah, I told them I don't cook. Will they say that around you or do they kind of keep that on the down low? You know, girls that don't cook, Yeah. will they let you know that they can't cook or don't cook? You know, I don't think I've ever met a girl who's like, I don't cook. Interesting. I mean, I, 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 don't, I can't yeah. think of a single... That's interesting because I do hear it not not often, often. Yeah. But I hear it consistently. I mean, I think my brain was going one way when yours was kind of going because I was thinking you were asking you were about to ask me something completely different, and it was more like, why do you think it's so important to men? Right. And so that's where my brain was going, but I honestly can't think of anyone. Who I've known well enough or been close enough to, or again, I think people are cautious about, women are cautious about what they say around me also, because I've never given off that, fuck your husband, like, yeah. fuck him, it wasn't yeah. what he thinks. or That's true. I mean, none of it. Yeah. So, I think that girls would be very reticent to say, fuck it, he can cook his own 
food. They you do. Know. T- it's birds of a feather. Yeah. Yeah. And that, that's very much the vibe that that you gives. get. Yeah. If you see that on television, and that's why these guys are like, you know, when they're they're they see their wife. It's almost like children. Um, you don't want her hanging out if she's if you're married for 20, 30 years, and one of her girlfriends gets divorced. It sounds horrible, but you don't want them hanging out together. Right. Because it starts rubbing off. Yeah. You know, girls like other girls to be miserable with them. You exactly. Know? And she starts hearing this girl going, yeah, I hated cooking. This girl starts going, yeah, I don't like cooking either. Yeah. Well, no. You know, I mean, you know, or, <laughs> I hate messy raising kids. It's yeah. Like, yeah. But, I mean, I think that, one, girls who cook, it's a way of showing respect for their husbands. Obviously. Yeah. Because yeah. they're providing something. They're creating something specific. Right. But number two, I think it shows a lot of respect for the money, the family budget. That's interesting. You can you can go out to dinner and you could go make an entire grocery haul. And this is true whether it's Applebee's or whether it's fine dining. You can make an entire grocery haul for what the bill was. Fascinating. Yeah, I, I mean, absolutely. A hundred bucks. It's true. Yeah. I mean, it's just... it's. Nuts the difference, yeah. you know. Especially today. Yeah. That's interesting. So, I mean, I think that, like, when I go out to eat, when I, you know, see the bill or whatever, I'm always kind of like, well, I could have made the whole week's worth of dinners for that, <laughs> you know. That's fascinating, yeah. I mean, I enjoy going out to meals, but I appreciate that that you aren't one of these guys who wants to go out all of the time. No. You know, so yeah. that, because I, you know, it doesn't make you feel good. It doesn't make you operate better. Yeah. It's not f- good fuel for the body. Exactly. But it's also just not financially smart. Yeah. I mean, like we always say, everybody's money goes somewhere. Like, mm-hmm. guys might not go out to eat, but they spend $400 every three weeks on golf. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? It goes oh, yeah. somewhere, you know. Oh, yeah. But you're right about women being, women take pride, just like they take pride in being able to cook, in being able to manage their budgets. Yeah. Not all, but the girls that do, do. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's it's a point of, you know, I manage the family money. Yeah. Well, you know, it goes a long way. And from a motherhood perspective, yeah. I mean, moms, women who cook food even if it's only two you know two-thirds or you know like 75 percent of the meals you know because they're on the run they're they're getting Johnny to practice whatever like there are times that you kind of don't have a choice right or you know it takes a lot of effort to to make it mobile right but moms who cook have zero respect for moms who don't cook. That's very interesting. I mean, you might as well just be like, you're shitting on your children. And on your family. Your your husband and as well. Because you know it's going to be more expensive in the long run. But once... Well, and the nutrition factor. Yeah. You know, but once the kids come around, if the, if that woman, the, the woman of the house is not cooking meals, she loses all respect. Very interesting. For anyone who does not think that way. That's very interesting. I can see that. I mean, that's that's what I hear about it most often sometimes is from moms. And they're like, you know, so-and-so called me. She's having trouble, like, with this. And it's just macaroni and cheese. I'm like, right. she's got a 12-year-old. Right. How did that child make it? Exactly. There, it truly is a matter of nurturing. You know, you're like, how did that child make it to this age? Yeah. You know? And I think before kids come along... Couples can kind of get away with her not cooking as much and no, nobody kind of thinking ill of her. Yeah. Because it's sexy, you're young, you're you're going out, you're and he's, dating. And he probably doesn't care what he's eating. Yeah. Most men, you know. But once once it's a family, if Everybody there's can. not homemade food, yeah, that's... Very interesting. It's just disrespectful to the health. It's yeah. disrespectful. You don't tend to, like, visit as much. You don't sit around a dining room table, you yeah. know, things like that. It creates a family environment right. when you cook at home. That's very interesting. And a lot of things that people would like to not care yeah. about themselves or their adult children. Right. But when the little ones are there, be it grandparents, you know, and keeping an eye on the grandkids. I mean, yeah. 
it's a it, big it deal. Starts, starts so I think up. that I think that kind of like um, men being attracted to a certain uh, like body fat percentage because they know with you know they know that they get a little softer with you know the babies and yeah. things like that. They know you know health wise what they're most attracted to if they're looking to procreate. You know I mean. All of these kind of things, I think, are hardwired in men, and I think this is one of them to be more what attracted yeah, to yeah. women who well, willingly cook or at yeah. least want to try. Some yeah. of them are terrible at it, even trying. Well, even some of these girls, the girls that do know about what men like, and I've seen this, and I've somebody put it up on one of our Twitter feeds. Like, there's more girls using that picture of them in the kitchen. Yeah, making. Making smart. something yeah. in their dating profile. Very smart. Because it works. Yeah. It works. Well, and especially, I think, from a bodybuilding standpoint, we know cooking doesn't have to look like, meal preparation doesn't have to look like, you know, um, Julia Child in the kitchen. Literally, it's just about putting pieces together in a way that tastes good. It's really not difficult. Right. It's just combining foods. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean. Baking is what most people think of as cooking. Yeah. I mean, it's always involved. Yeah. Pretty much, isn't it? You yeah. Know. But somehow I made it into my 50s like rice and chicken. Right. You know, and it works. And that's, yeah. for a lot of people, I guess they do get overwhelmed or it's just not comfortable about it. Yeah. You know, it gets away from well, it. Well, and any, you know, right now, I think anymore also there used to be more pressure to have a variety of foods or variety of meat, yeah. like like the service that, that your ex-wife was involved in. Now there's Freshly, there's all these things that are essentially like giving you all the pieces plus the recipe. All you do is put it together, you know, and it's making it easier for, for people who aren't necessarily naturally in either entertained by it or interested in it or yeah. whatever. And no one... Yeah, a lot of this. And no one knows the difference. On. Yeah. But cool. So it is a value add. Oh yeah. But when it comes to kids, for guys that are serious about looking for wife material, it's probably I think it should be an expectation. Yeah, that's good. I mean I really do. I think yeah. that I think that not making it an expectation is setting you up for I mean, what are you gonna do? Be ninety years old and I mean, seriously, like it's quite serious about guys get frustrated with that. Yeah, they go, yeah, my wife doesn't cook. Well, it's always a negative. Yeah, it's never a good like. Yeah, my wife doesn't cook. I have to take care of everything. No, no. And I mean, and I come from this from a really unique angle because my ex husband, his grandmother was like the lunch lady manager when they used to actually cook. You know, for cafeterias. So he was raised in a kitchen. Right. He act, genuinely enjoys cooking meals. Enjoys yeah. And so when we got married, he said, do you mind if I do most of the cooking? And I was like, no, I don't. Yeah. But I still, I made the bread. I made the, you know, I was kind of still Doing in effort. there at the same time. Yeah. But it's a red flag if a woman won't cook doesn't cook, isn't willing to Takes learn pride in. to cook. Yeah. Yeah. I guess if, if she shows a little bit of um, shame, you know, like, yeah, I don't cook. I wish I'd learned. You know, I mean, it's probably a softer blow. That's a good, yeah. You know, softer You can blow. still learn. Yeah. Yeah. That's there, good. You can still learn. So that is the big little topic of why do men want women to cook. And I'd say that this is a basic training kind of topic. Yes, true. Look for... Girls who are not against cooking. Sometimes exactly. it's kind of like uh, with other things. It's like sometimes it's not as much what to look for. It's just what to avoid. Yes, yes. If she has a hostility towards yes. it. And you, you will. I mean, you'll find girls that are like, yeah, I don't clean and I don't cook. Yeah. And you're going to end up, when you're working those 80-hour weeks, very you're going to be in a very disgusting house or apartment. Yeah. So... Keep those in mind. Uh, Fort Worth has put up two basic training books. So you can get one. You can get two. You can get them bundled. We uh, have them all available to you at 
a great price and they're just chock full of tips and tricks like this basic attraction and etiquette dating etiquette tips that you need for a mo- more uh what fulfilling high quality life yeah. and existence yeah. it'll make your life easier it's the lessons that you wish your father had taught you if you like this podcast please like subscribe and share with your friends we want you to win bye